Welcome back, friends, with more of the Big Bang Theory. This is Season 6, Episode 20. Last time, we had a very emotional episode with Howard and the letter from his father. Sheldon happened upon it when he was tricked into cleaning Howard and Bernadette's closet, and everybody found out about it and were able to help Howard get just a little bit of closure. This episode, though, is called The Tenure Turbulence. Sounds like there's going to be a tenure spot open and some of our guys are going to want to fight for it. Is it President Siebert who will make the final decision? And are they going to kiss his ass or something? Should be fun to watch. Let's get into it. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps with the channel, and let's get started. I was reading about this jellyfish that never dies. Instead, it reverts to its asexual state and then grows up again. We thought my 90-year-old grandfather had reverted to an asexual state, but the lawsuit from his Jamaican caregiver proved us all wrong. <laughs> oh. Jeez. My, if I could keep my Gmail account, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Hello, fellas. <laughs> yeah, Remember when we were trying to figure out what that smell coming from Professor Tupperman's office was? Yeah. Oh. Turns out it was Tupperman. Oh no. Dead at his desk. In Wu of Flowers, the department chair is asking that everyone donate a bottle of Febreze. <laughs> Jeez. If we're going to change the topic from jellyfish, I'd be okay with brine shrimp or the history of the unicycle. Your colleague just died. We can oh, man. either sit around and quiet over spilt professor or <laughs> spilt professor. We rejoice in the knowledge that a tenured oh. position has just opened up. I choose to do the wada. Do any of them actually Excuse teach, me. though? The whole They're not professors, right? They're ridiculous. A They're researchers? Job, people should have chips implanted in their skulls that explode when they say something stupid. <laughs> your well, yours would have gone off just then. The, oh, if man. If you need my nose, you'll find it firmly wadged up the wectum of the tenure committee. <laughs> Oh, croaky. I'll apply, but I'm not going to stoop to playing politics. No, I feel like you either. will. It should be about the work. And if I can't get tenure, I'd like to see you or Sheldon get it. Get Raj, don't dangle false hope in front of Leonard like that. <laughs> Damn! So, tenured means a job for life? Yep. And you can't get fired even if you're bad at it? Not really. Wow. Sounds a lot like being a pretty waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> If they gave it to me, it wouldn't diminish my output. You know, I'm like the sun. Can't turn this off. <laughs> okay, man. Are Rajesh and Leonard competing for it as well? Mm-hmm. Do they know they don't stand a chance because you're so great? Supportive well, girlfriend. <laughs> or just, I don't know. I go back and forth uh. on this boyfriend. It would be nice to have the increased income. Stop taking money from my parents. Money from family does come with strings attached. <laughs> They buy me a new BMW for my birthday, but can oh, I get boo -hoo. No. Boo -hoo. Rajesh, if you want, I just keep thinking about how cool it would be if I called my mom and told her that I got tenure. I'm sorry. Contact. She's Did not gonna. Oh, very. No. Huh. Assuming she takes my call. I don't think she would care, <laughs> honestly. Stop trying to win her affection. Tenure is living with an insanely jealous roommate after the fact. I might need to sleep with a gun under my pillow, or a chainsaw. Or you take advantage of your newfound economic stability and move out, oh. buy a house, get married. You're the chainsaw. <laughs> that, your suggestion did I not appeal to him. Oh my god. To New Delhi in triumph atop a bejeweled white elephant. And you know what will be on that elephant's back? A seat warmer. <laughs> Wow. So, who do you have to schmooze <laughs> to get this deal? I'm gonna let my work speak for itself. That's great. That shows a lot of integrity. Thank you. I'm a naive idiot, right? <laughs> Condolences oh, on your you loss. How <laughs> oh, you heard me? Maybe you should cozy up to the people making the decision. Sheldon Cooper does not do cozy. I don't say. Aww. But, Aww. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. Janine Davis. Oh dear. Is that a problem? Well. Yeah, even you. You're a slave. Oh, the HR lady! Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Hey, Mrs. Davis! Hey, <laughs> Dr. Hofstadt. Just thought I'd come down and start getting ready for swimsuit season. Sure, man. You've never been in here, have you? you? Not that you need it. I bet you look great in a swimsuit. This, da, 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 da. Thank you. I'm not uh, familiar with this model. How do I make it start? You the start, start button. The start button. Right. Oh. <laughs> you don't gotta go all out right away. <laughs> I gotta do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> hey, speaking, speaking of things you do for the rest for of the your rest life. For the rest of your life. I gotta get a home gym. 
<laughs> uh, I'm sure you have a lot of hobby throwing my hat in the... <laughs> He's gonna collapse. Ring. All right. Just I'll slow down. For that. Yeah. And Kirk is here. Funny seeing you here for the first time in ever. ever. Oh, look at that. Burned a whole calorie. One calorie. I guess you got here early to burn off that banana bread I baked you. Yeah, it was delicious. Oh, man. No, my pleasure. I've got a, a great recipe. The trick is in fresh ground. He's I'll dying. email it to you. He's dying. That's enough cardio for me. I'm gonna stretch out before I hit the weights. Uh, <laughs> stretch out in the fetal position on the floor. Call someone. Oh, man. This is Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali from the astrophysics department. Don't be alarmed. I'm not really in space. <laughs> Your friend Howard was, though. Anywho, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following. It's 90, 90 minutes. minutes? <laughs> it's. I just noticed it's 90 minutes. Watch at three times speed. Born in your den. Oh my god. Just ignore it. Close it. Kind of. At the age of five, I discovered a celestial object, which later turned out to be the moon. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Mrs. Davis. Mrs. Mrs. Davis. Davis. Mrs. Mrs. Davis. God, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh -huh. I bought you a gift. Uh, Dr. Cooper, that's not necessary. It's too late. Get ready to like me. What did he get her? Roots. The tragic history of slavery in America. Fun for the whole family. Fun for the whole family. This meeting has come to an end. Because you want to start watching it right now. Copy that. Uh, he's like, good job, good job. Next on the tenure committee is... Oh no. Professor Wu. Get ready for the complete works of Jackie Chan. Dude. Dude. Uh, Sheldon. Where have you been? Nurse's office. <laughs> Asthma attack? Asthma, heart, some kind of attack. I'm fine, though. Some kind of attack. You guys going to Professor Tupperman's memorial? You wouldn't want to look like you guys are brown-nosing the tenure committee. It will all be there. Ooh, they all sat at attention. Oh, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love mess him messing with them. We won't be able to make our date night this Thursday. You better have a good excuse this time. Because trimming Q-tips to fit your ears right is obvious nonsense. <laughs> First of all, very obvious nonsense. Like that, perhaps I should come along. Well, now that I think about it, that would be most helpful. Of course it would. I'm well versed in academic politics, and as a respected scientist, I can only raise your stock as a candidate. But Leonard can bring Actually, Penny. I mean, you could drive me. Oh, but Leonard yeah, but can bring Penny. Be that other stuff too. <laughs> the other stuff too, and she smiles about it. What, Sheldon's going to be there. We all promised we weren't going to go. Oh, what a jerk. I know. I was hoping to go without anyone finding out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me there? You know, to support you? Oh, that's nice, but it, it's just gonna be a room full of boring old men. I'm not sure how much help you'd be. Hello? Please, will you come? Oh, uh, yeah, no thanks. That would be great help. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you might kill some of them. Well, then you all can get tenure. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. That is a pretty good idea. Come on, Daddy. All the other scientists have seed warmers. Oh my god. Let's go over our emotional responses one last time. Emotional okay. responses? Professor Tupperman is dead, and that makes us... Sad. Sad. <laughs> the fact that there are so many people here tonight doesn't make us cranky and claustrophobic. It makes us... Glad? Bad. Giving Mrs. Davis the box set of roots was... Bad. Bad. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're here There's too. some nerve showing up here just to schmooze with the tenure committee. You're here. Excuse me, I'm here to pay my respects to Professor Tupperware, or whatever his name is. Tupperware. Well, 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 Sheldon, fancy meeting you here. Oh, she's going to take off in the jacket. And having a cotillion after all. <laughs> cotillion? And you. I'm here to support my man, just like you. What are you going to in do? In a different way. Take people's drink orders and get them wrong? Ooh. Oh, Roger staring. <laughs> Went back to staring. She plans on flirting with members of the tenure committee to further Leonard's cause. No, well, that's a fine how do you do. Don't just stand there. Take your breasts out. Take your breasts out. Ooh, meerkat fight. <laughs> Aw. You're 
I like the Howards enjoying this. Sheldon is the most qualified for the job, and no amount of gravity-defying bosom's gonna change that. Gravity-defying. What if Kripke gets it? Way to hit him with both barrels. <laughs> <laughs> both barrels? You two should be ashamed of yourselves. Using women to advance your cause with sexuality. You would do it too. Plans on doing. Are you implying that my girlfriend has no sexuality to exploit? Yes. Okay, because that was not clear. Sheldon! <laughs> he was agreeing with her, with him. We can talk some smack about his mother. But, but yes, of course. He wouldn't like that at all. Oh my god. Last night I was feeling in need of sexual release when I happened to come across your mother. <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, what are we doing here? I was about to insinuate that I had coitus with Raj's mother for a dollar. For a dollar. Even before he had no, sex with you do Amy. What you want, but I don't want to lose my friends over tenure. Friends are forever. <clears throat> so is tenure. <laughs> so is tenure. You'll always be an academic success, but I seriously question whether you'll make any more friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not likely. I would love to babysit for you. Oh. I cannot ask you to do that. Suck it, losers. Okay, we gotta stop him from getting it, right? No. We cannot lose to that jerk. Yeah, no. let's go. Screw it. I'm going in. You wait to hold on. I believe screw it, I'm going in is what I said to your mother last night. You're not fighting against each other anymore. It's against Kripke now. You recommended myself, Dr. Hofstadter, and Dr. Kuthra Polly to be on the short list for 10 years. Uh -huh. Well, I do want to express my gratitude. No, you didn't bring another gift, did you? No, no. No, I Good. learned my lesson. Good. I understand that was inappropriate. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, right on, sister. Oh my god, Sheldon. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sheldon, no! Uh, glad to see him, Leonard, and Raj are all in the running for tenure, though. And I'm not sure if what Janine said necessarily excludes Kripke. I hope he doesn't get it, though, with how hard he was brown-nosing, though. Uh, Janine doesn't seem naive to fall for it anyway. But one thing I wonder about is, we rarely ever see any of our guys actually teach classes. They work at a university, so ostensibly they should have some classes they need to teach, but again, how would that work? Because Raj doesn't even talk to women unless he's drunk. And just a few episodes ago, we saw Leonard try to teach some middle schoolers and wound up freestyling. He was just so, so bad at it. And I mean, I guess it doesn't matter how bad they are at teaching if they have tenure. And I think there are like tenured research positions, but I assumed since it was a tenured professor who died that another professor would have to get the position. But I don't know how this works. I never bothered to dive into the intricacies of tenure and the higher education system. But the discussion about the consequences of tenure are interesting. And is Sheldon right that it discourages people from improving or doing good work? Or is Raj right about people doing better jobs when they're comfortable and don't have to fear for losing their jobs? And I mean, I definitely understand where Raj is coming from, especially since he needed to work with Sheldon in order to not get deported. If he loses his job, he'd have to leave his home. So absolutely having that guaranteed stability would be good for your mental health and then your work. Uh, Sheldon's idea of blowing up people's brains with a microchip if they're not working hard enough or if they have a stupid idea. Oh, he's somebody who definitely should not be allowed near any levers of power. And I mean, I guess we see that on a much smaller scale with Alex and how he treats her. I won't deny that some people might get comfy with tenure and have their work suffer. I think it just comes down to the individual. Uh, Amy was so sweet to Sheldon this episode, but he just kept being mean to her or saying mean things at least. Uh, she asked if Raj and Leonard knew they had no chance at tenure because Sheldon is so great. I mean, if we're talking about brown nosing, Amy really took it to a new level this time. And then Sheldon says that sometimes he wonders if this relationship is worth it, but her worshipping him like that is one of the reasons he keeps her around. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, me Raj, meanwhile, like he does have real problems like I mentioned before. The threat of being deported if he can't hold down employment, his inability to talk to women without alcohol, but him complaining about not having heated seats in the BMW his parents bought for him? Uh, dude is so spoiled. And he's a really, really bad drunk as well. We've seen that in action before. Uh, it was just funny to watch. And I like that Leonard thought he was going to be noble and let his work speak for itself, but could tell based on Penny's supportive tone that he's a naive idiot. She's like, I'm glad that you were able to sense what I was saying. And yeah, really great to have Janine Davis back. Interesting that she's in HR. Is she the head of HR? While also being on the tenure committee. Didn't think there'd be that kind of overlap, but I think that's actually a really good idea and pretty cool to see. And Sheldon, uh, he tries to win her over by giving her a copy of Roots. <laughs> Roots, man. 
And yeah, I wonder how much personal relationships are taken into account when deciding who gets tenure. Uh, if Sheldon was going to be racially insensitive to everybody, do we want to give him a free pass to do it all the time with zero consequences? And there was that time he unknowingly, unintentionally, sexually harassed Alex as well. So I think having a person in HR be on the tenure committee is a good idea for that reason, but I wonder if it will affect his ability to get tenure. I mean, Leonard showed some inappropriate workplace behavior as well, saying that he bet Mrs. Davis looked good in a swimsuit. Dude! And yeah, everybody was just trying so hard to butter her up. I think Raj didn't actually do anything that was over the line, though his 90-minute video can't have helped his cause either. Uh, Barry seemed to take it most seriously, though, with just saying he would babysit her kids. Oh, man. And it was fun seeing Howard get to mess with all of them, because he make, gets made fun of for not having a doctorate all the time by them, so it's nice to see them him needle them in this way. And then when they were fighting, he even eggs them on with some suggestions. So like, he told Sheldon to insult uh, Raj's mother. And it was really funny seeing Amy prepping Sheldon on proper emotional responses at the memorial. Poor guy really just can't read the mood in a room at all. And yeah, Penny and Amy both pulling out all the stops to help their man. I appreciate that from both of them. Um, but yeah, hopefully they were able to, to together take down Kripke. Uh, this episode ends with Janine and Sheldon working things out till he gave that ridiculous handshake. Jeez, Sheldon. One tiny thing I took note of in this episode, though, is it just me or does Sheldon's hand look remarkably red in this episode? It's not really important. I just caught myself thinking that once or twice. It was his palm most of the time. But yeah, this was a very fun episode. Seeing everybody struggle and fight to one-up each other was very entertaining. I wonder if we'll ever get an answer about who got tenure. I don't think any of them besides Barry would take it easy after getting the position, so... I uh, hope one of them is able to get it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps with the channel, and I'll see you guys next week with more. Bye, friends.